Hi, I'm Katie Carr from the Advanced Digital Sciences Center, and today I have with me Doug Jones, who is a professor at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Now, Doug, I've heard that you have been doing some research in 3D sound. Can you tell us why you feel that this is interesting and why we should think it's interesting? Yeah, sure, Katie. So part of our sense of a realistic environment or feeling like we're really in the world is that we, with our sound, we can tell, ears, we can tell what direction any sounds are coming from, and we have this sense of where everything is around us in, in the world. And as video technology recording has gotten better and better, so we have things like high definition and now even 3D video recording, we're getting a more and more realistic video experience. But actually our sound experience hasn't really advanced very much. And when we listen to sound, say, through headphones, then it really sounds like it's inside our head or it don't really have that kind of spatial percept. So we'd like to make the audio as realistic as the 3D video is becoming because we think that's going to be essential for a really high quality you know, 3D multimedia experience. Okay. Now, um, I've heard that this is something that can be applied to video games because in video games, the videos have become more and more advanced, but how, is, how are you doing on the evolution of the sound? So again, video games get more and more realistic in terms of the video, but the audio hasn't really progressed very much. Right. So what we feel is that with this kind of technology, it should be possible to, again, make it sound like wherever you, you see on your, on your screen in the video game, it should, it sound, it should sound like it's coming from there. And in fact, you should be able to hear monsters or other uh, creatures and stuff coming up from behind you and create a much more realistic and exciting experience. Okay. That sounds quite a bit like the surround sound that we already have. So why don't you just plug surround sound into, say, headphones? Um, and do it that way. Well, the problem with, with, with headphones is that they, the headphones are only right here, and so you don't have loud, actual loudspeakers in other directions to make the sound come from the appropriate direction. Okay. So we're looking to try to fake that, if you will, by, again, first uh, separating the sound from different directions and then to present it back to the appropriate head-related transfer function so it really sounds, even though you listen to it from right here, that it sounds like it was coming from over here, it sounds like it was coming from, from up here. Okay, great. Now, are there any other applications for this other than video games? Yes. Yeah, so, for example, one thing I think could be very exciting would be if we could have video recorders or even, say, our cell phones that can do recording. They could actually record the 3D sound so that basically when we play it back, it sounds exactly like it does out in the real world as mm. opposed to just a standard mono uh, type sound. So that's one application we're really interested in. And another is something that we call remote reality. So it's the idea that if, or immersive reality. So if you would like to say have a video conference with somebody at a different place and maybe thousands of miles away, but you'd like to be able to be as if you were in the room right there with them, or maybe even kind of coming together and sitting around kind of a virtual 3D conf uh, conference table, then for that experience to be realistic, you need to be able, along with the video, uh, you need to be able to make it sound as if the sounds are coming from the right directions and, and, and all around you. So we'd like to be able to have a technology that can both record and reconstruct that uh, kind of uh, sound field to make it sound completely realistic. So I could be in a virtual meeting and feel like I, c I wouldn't be in the same room as the people, but it would sound like I'm in the same room as them. Is that correct? Right. We're not quite there yet, but I would okay. hope that eventually not only would it sound like you're in the same room, but eventually you might even be able to have kind of a, a virtual turn to the person to the, the right or oh, the left wow. of you and actually have sort of a one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation with them as part of a larger meeting. Okay. So ultimately we'd like to create a, a sort of a 3D or even a 4D, if you will, experience that's uh, uh, you know, as realistic as possible. Okay. Now have, been, have there been any research issues that you've run into with um, creating this realistic audio? Yeah, we've had to deal with a number of challenges, both theoretical and practical. One is that everybody's head-related transfer functions are a little bit different, so we're working on trying to make the system resilient to the differences between different people's head-related transfer functions. Okay. Another challenge we face is that for a practical system, we need these microphones to be very, very small, otherwise you can't put them on our cell phones or our camcorders. So we've been working on a novel technology, which is a directional array technology, and this is what, just an example of one of our, our systems. So we have here four little microphones, and each of these record, one records the sound from all directions, the other records the sound from, uh, so say, horizontal and, and vertical, and then, say, front and back directions. Mm -hmm. And so we can use the relative strengths of the sound on different microphones to figure out what direction the sound came from in the first place. And then we can use that with signal processing algorithms to separate that sound back into the sound from the different directions, and then we can reconstruct it back through the head-related transfer functions, as we talked about earlier. And the nice thing about this technology is because we're using directional arrays, the microphones can be very close together. So you can see this is even only about the size of my little finger or so, right. and yet we can get really high quality 3D sound recording from a very small array. So it's practical for things like cell phones and uh, video cameras. Okay, great. Now, is anybody else using these small microphone arrays right now? No, this is a technology we've developed here at okay. Illinois several years ago, and we're further developing for these applications at ADSC. Okay, great. So you guys invented this right here at the university. That's right. 
Wonderful. Um, now, you have made these arrays very small. So what is the next step in figuring out how to do sound direction finding with the little arrays? Some of the challenges we face are that it's harder to find the direction at lower frequencies of sound. And another important challenge is the algorithms that we use to do this are kind of expensive. And so we've had to work to uh, get real-time computing systems that can actually find the direction and also track sound sources as they move around in space. That way, but we've actually been successful. And so, at the Advanced Digital Science Center in uh, in Singapore, we've actually uh, have now a, a real-time demonstration that can actually do this. Oh, great! So, was this difficult to do to create the demonstration? Uh, well, there's many technical challenges that we overcame, uh, but as I said, we already have this working, and you should uh, should listen to it. All right, so we can head over then to the Advanced Digital Science Center in Singapore. Let's go. All right, great, Tim. <laughs> Director of the Advanced Digital Sciences Center, and we're here with Chen Kui Zhao, who's been working with Hello. Doug Jones on building the system that you've heard about. So, um, this is the little microphone array. We have it up on a tripod, and we're going to give a demo. We have another monitor set up showing the location of sound in three dimensions. There's a bird's eye view of the speaker, me in this case, and then there's a side view. So as I walk around the microphone, you'll see the sound registering as coming from different angles as I move. And then if I change my height, that will show up on the monitor as well. The sound registers as coming from below the uh, imaginary head that the microphone represents. And then as I come back up, the sound comes back up with me. Okay. I think that's the, the basic demo. Thanks very much, and we'll send things back to Doug for a wrap up at the University of Illinois. Thank you. Thanks so much, Doug, for that demonstration. So now that you are done with sound direction finding, are you ready to move on to reconstruction? Well, there's still a few more challenges with sound direction finding that we're working on now. One of them is, is that echoes in the room, so in a space like this, the sound's actually coming from different directions, and so that can confuse the algorithm at times. Okay. So we're working on developing even more advanced technologies based on the way the human hearing works to discriminate against the, the echoes, and we're hoping we can make it even better in the future. Oh, great. So a possible demonstration of 3D sound reconstruction in the future? That's right. Wonderful. All right. Well, thanks so much for talking with us today. I appreciate it. Thanks very much, Katie.